Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to blow dry straight hair, okay? So it can look less frizzy. One of my girlfriends texted me and she asked me how to minimize frizzy hair. Now she has straight hair, my dog just walked in, she has straight hair. So when I texted her back, I said the only issue with the straight hair is I can't tell you to put serum in your hair or any kind of oil in your hair to minimize that frizz because it's gonna weigh your hair down. My suggestion to her was to blow dry her hair nice and smooth and I suggest to put mousse in the hair. I think mousse for straight hair is the best product that you can put in your hair if you have straight hair because it gives you the volume but then it smooths that when you blow dry you're smoothing it out versus if you put any kind of serum in your hair or kind of oil in your hair and, and then start blow drying by the end of the blow dry you're still gonna look you're gonna look greasy you may not have the frizz but you'll look like a grease spot and I don't think that's what she wanted so um, with the curly hair girls I do suggest you put a little bit of serum in your hair and I am gonna have someone here that has curly hair um, in maybe in a couple weeks I'm gonna have her come over and I'm gonna show the curly hair girls how to blow dry their hair um, because I was the queen of blow drying curly hair everyone that walked in that salon always asked for me because I learned from a best friend that used to live with me when I was in high school um, and she had curly 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 hair I mean the curliest thing that you can you see someone and she taught me how to blow dry her hair the school didn't she did so I do want to show the girls that have curly hair how to blow dry their hair um, how to make it look nice and sleek and still have volume and not frizzy of course because curly hair when you blow dry if you don't blow dry it right you don't close those cuticles forget it I know you girls are know what I'm talking about the curly hair girls you walk out of that that salon and you look like a frizz ball seriously well with the straight hair girls we also look like frizz balls but in a different way so I'm going to teach you straight hair girls today and curly hair girls, stay tuned because I will have someone here and I will show you guys. Unfortunately, I'm not going to show you guys with me because I have straight hair and you know, maybe like a young girl is going to be like, I don't understand, maybe she'll take the time that I'm taking and to be honest, curly hair girls, you, have, you guys have to take more time with the blow dryer and you know the movement of your wrist and all that so with that said if you guys want to watch this video then please stay tuned okie dokie okie dokie okie dokie guys so this is my straight hair and it's wet wet um so i like paul mitchell mousse guys paul mitchell mousse the sculpting one there's one that's firm and you have to be careful when you're you put uh, mousse in your hair and you put a firm one in your hair because when you're blow drying it's gonna you know kind of like tug into your hair um but it all depends on how well you blow dry your hair so the plumage of the sculpting mousse i think is a little bit easier for beginners um and you know you can kind of maneuver your brush a little bit easier with your hair so just put mousse in your hair guys I always put the mousse on my roots guys and then when I comb my hair the the mousse will go like see it goes all the way down I'm combing it with my hands I comb my hair a lot with my hands I don't know if you guys have watched my other videos um, I'm, I'm a big you know combing my hair kind of like styling my hair once it's dry with my with my hands and I do the same thing when my hair is wet putting my product in of course I use the brush of course I use combs but my hands work very well on my hair so then when once you start you have to dry your hair a little bit now this is for the straight hair girls guys I'm sorry if um, the curly hair girls are watching and you can still of course you can still watch um, you can still blow dry your hair um, a little bit but not as much as I'm gonna blow dry my hair before I even start blow drying you understand okay guys so the first thing I'm gonna talk about before I even start blow drying okay um, is the nozzle always get a blow dryer that has a nozzle curly hair girls and straight hair girls okay I'm not gonna exclude you guys out um, explaining the blow dryer because this goes for both 
okay always get a blow dryer that has a nozzle because nozzle is great because if you don't have a nozzle like the, the air will come all over and your hair will be like all over okay like all over like when you have a when you have the brush the hair will be blown everywhere okay even the little frizzies are going everywhere now when you put the nozzle on it's gonna con the nozzle is gonna make that air concentrate in one spot, whatever you're gonna be blow drying. Does that make sense? But I'm gonna do I'm gonna start blow drying my hair a little bit without the blow dry um without without the brush. You gotta take some of that wetness out. You don't wanna start from scratch. Otherwise, you're gonna be two hours blow drying your hair, girl. You don't wanna be blow drying from the beginning. You want to take that moisture out a bit. Now, curly hair girls will do the same thing, but it won't. You won't dry too much because it's gonna look too frizzy. But you do want to take that light. You don't want to go from right from getting out the shower to blow drying your hair. You you want it a little bit dry, just a little bit. Now, if you want volume to your hair. Flip your hair over, guys. And it gives you a little bit of volume on your roots. So that's, up that's up to you. Some people don't want volume in their hair. Okay, guys. So now that my hair is like semi-dry-ish, I, if, if you have curly hair guys and you're still watching this, do not dry your hair this much. Only straight hair girls, okay? Okay, so I suggest you use the butterfly clips versus the straight ones, especially if you have thick hair, because this is really going to hold it up. The straight clips, um, where is it? Okay, the st straight clips like this, they're too thin and they're only meant to like hold like your hair back a little bit, not like a a bun okay does that make sense okay so the bigger the brush the straighter the hair the smaller the brush the curlier the hair but be careful we have long hair and go with the small if you see hair on my my brush sorry um this is my brush so I haven't cleaned it <laughs> um what was I gonna say yeah but if you go smaller than this you guys and you have long hair you're taking a chance for your brush to get stuck in your hair so be cautious Please be cautious because trust me, it is not fun if you have a brush stuck in your hair. And if that happened, I think I said this before, if your brush ever gets stuck in your hair or you're blow drying your child's hair and your, your, their brush or your brush gets stuck in their hair, do not wet it. Do not wet that hair. Don't go to the sink and wet her hair with the brush in her hair because you will mat the crap out of her hair and you're eventually probably going to have to cut her hair. So, do not wet the hair, okay, with the brush on the hair. So, what you do is section once you section your hair out, okay, then you section the hair in two and you're going to work with one and then the other side. So, where's my blow dryer? I'm going to use the smaller one okay and what you do is you're gonna put that brush so your hands gonna be back this hands gonna be back here guys at first it's gonna be awkward but you'll get it and then this and this brush will go underneath and then you get the brush I mean the, then you get the blow dryer and you slowly start from root to end Right on there. Okay, and then when you go 
round is your fingers that are going round. Okay? So your fingers are doing this. Your fingers are what's twirling the brush. Even when you want to bring that that hair up around the brush, your fingers are the one that is doing it. I hope you guys can hear me. So, if you want your hair to flip, then put the blow dryer here. I'm just turn the blow dryer off so you guys can hear me. And you see how my fingers? You get used to that, guys. Like twirling your brush. What? Before you even start blow drying, if you don't know how to blow dry, learn how to twirl your fingers with the brush. Even if you're watching TV, just do this, guys. Just keep going around and around and around and around and around. Because you do get tired. Your fingers get tired. Your wrist gets tired. You want to learn how to do that movement. If you see hair, I'm embarrassed. I should have cleaned them. <coughs> okay. So keep learning how to do that. You know? So once that do is done, if you have a cool air on your blow dryer, I have a cool air, then you have to close your cuticles with cold air. Okay guys? So I have this little button right here and I just press it down and it gives me cold air and I lock it. Okay? So your cuticles can close. And then put the blow dryer down if you want for a second and then if you want to bring it down I always curl it and just leave it alone until you go to the next section now I'm not going to talk um, unless I come up with something in between that I remember you know that I have to say but besides that you guys can just watch me how to blow dry the hair and then go from there okay guys done if you have a little bit of flyaways okay again I don't like any kind of serum in my hair because I have finer straight hair so what I do is put hairspray on my hand I always do this guys I never put the ha hairspray straight in my hair I just never do um, and then I put it I always clap and I put it on my hair with my hands and I bring those frizzies down
Okay guys, and this is my end result when I blow dry my hair. It's no frizz. Um, it works for me. Uh, it's worked for a lot of my clients in the past. And like I said, curly hair girls, I will have someone at my house um, soon enough and I will show you guys how to blow dry curly hair. Um, and if you guys know how to blow dry hair and your friend doesn't, then teach your friend. Alrighty guys, so thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please thumbs it up. Please comment. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And at the moment I have a giveaway, a combined giveaway with my girlfriend Lauren Alessandra. So if you guys didn't watch my video, I will link it and all the rules will be in there. And yeah, and that's it. I see you guys again. I think I messed up my lipstick. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, see you guys again.